Hi there, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Airgun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello. You know, I've been showing you a lot of adult air rifles. It's time to get back to basics and do something for the younger shooters out there. I've got an Air Venturi Bronco here, which is a joint venture between airgun expert Tom Gaylord and the folks at Pyramid Air. What they've done is design an air gun just for younger shooters. And to present it to you today, I have a very special guest, American Air Gunner's own Crystal Ackley will be showing you folks the features of this terrific little spring-powered rifle. Crystal, take it away. Thanks, Paul. As Paul previously mentioned, the Air Venturi Bronco was designed together by Tom Gaylord and the people over at Pyramid Air. It's sized perfectly for younger shooters. It's lightweight, easy to cock. It has this beautiful blonde hardwood stock that's completely ambidextrous, along with the automatic safety. A nice crisp two-stage double blade trigger. The iron sights include a front globe sight, a rear adjustable sight, in addition to this 11 millimeter dovetail, in case you want to go ahead and put a scope on it, like this Leaper's Bug Buster. What do you say we go ahead and do some crony testing? And remember, the Bronco is only available in 177 caliber, so for my first test, I'm going to go ahead and use these Gamo Match pellets. Let's see how I do. Now remember, all springers have a break-in period, but it looks like our numbers were pretty consistent and the more you shoot, the more consistent your numbers will get. For our lowest, we got 521 feet per second, our highest 540, the average was 531, extreme spread 18, and the standard deviation was 5.91. I also went ahead and tested another pellet, it's a little bit heavier, the h and field target. For those results, I got 489 feet per second for the lowest. 512 for the highest, 505 for the average, 22 for the extreme spread, and 8.77 for the standard deviation. Now what do you say we invite Paul back to do some target testing? Alright folks, well Crystal was lucky enough to test out the Air Venturi Bronco on a segment of American Air Gunner, so I guess it's my turn to give it a whirl. We've got our target set out to 10 meters, which is not a far distance, but it's the kind of distance that'll give young folks confidence most of them will be able to hit a target at that distance. Our first pellet's gonna be the H&N field target. Wish me luck. Good luck, Paul. All right. Let's see if I can keep that group up. Looks like I tore a nice big hole in there. Now you were saying you like the way this shoots. Yeah, I really do. I really enjoy the trigger. I like the two blade and it's... You like it's, that design, I huh? do, yeah. It's light, too. Nice. You know what's nice about these youth rifles, Crystal, is uh, they don't jump in your hand as much as the Magnum rifles. Right? Yeah, you're exactly right. I remember shooting the 350 Magnum. It was much more powerful. Great shot. Thank you. Is that four? Yeah, I'm liking this so far. <laughs> I mean, we're only at 10 meters. and Yeah, but still, it's a good grouping. Yeah. I know that would open up if we did it at 20 meters, but so far, so good. Right. I think that went right through the other. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Let's go see how I did. All right. All right, Crystal, I didn't do too bad with the H&N field target pellets. Not at That's all. That's pretty good. You want to go ahead and measure it for us with my El Cheapo <laughs> micrometer there? I'd say it's about 8 millimeter, maybe more. What do you got there? Well, it looks like it's about 7.35 millimeters. Not bad. Not at all. Let's go ahead and try the Gamo Match pellets. Shooting low. Let's see if they group. Now I didn't sight in for these Gamo Match pellets, so I'm going to keep my aim point consistent and see what kind of group we get. I'm noticing the Gamo Match pellets are a little bit looser in the breech yeah. than the H&Ns were. I remember during the taping of the American Air Gunner segment, one of these even fell out on you, didn't it? Yeah, it yeah. did. And uh, what happened was a pellet fell out of the breech. It was one of the Gamble Match pellets. And uh, Crystal didn't realize it. And she dry fired the rifle. That's a no-no. Not a good thing. 
No, that was down with the other one too. I see it, yeah. yeah. Now I'm not inspecting these as I should, but they look to be in pretty good shape. There's a brand new tin. I wonder if I'm, see, pellet just fell out there. I wonder if I may be damaging the skirts because they're so loose as I'm locking it back up and that's causing the group to go a little bit wild there. Okay, the first group of Gamo Match pellets did not do so great. I had a feeling that the skirts may have been damaged when I was locking the breech back up, but I'm gonna seat them a little bit more carefully this time and see what we get. That was a good shot. Well, that was a bullseye. <laughs> On center. Well, let's go see what we got. All right, well, not so great with the Gamo Match pellets, but your mileage may vary. So let's go ahead and move on to the trigger testing. Okay, I've got my handy dandy Lyman trigger gauge. I'm gonna go ahead and test that trigger. I'd be surprised if it's more than five or six pounds, but let's go ahead and see what this device has to say. All right, looks like our first pull gave us three pounds. Yeah. Two pounds, 8.1 ounces. All right, looks like this one was two pounds, 12 ounces. Two pounds, 4.9 ounces. Two pounds, 5.5 ounces. Let's go ahead and get our average. Our average was two pounds, 2.9 ounces. Pretty light. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised by that. Nice little trigger on this Air Venturi Bronco. All right, Paul, what do you say we go ahead and do some sound testing? All right, let's go ahead and do it. And as usual, folks, I don't have a scientific instrument here. This is just an off-the-shelf sound pressure meter. Take my results with a grain of salt. But I have to say, I don't think this is a very loud air rifle. No, not at all. Yeah. It's pretty quiet inside, too. So. Yeah, we don't need hearing protection at all. Nope. And, but let's go see what the, our meter has to say. Okay. Okay. Well, Crystal, the cameraman tells us that the loudest reading we got was 102.9 decibels. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't know. It means it's 102.9 decibels. I'm not a scientist. I'm an air gunner. Anyway, I don't think this is a loud rifle at all. Do you, uh, No, Crystal? not at all. It actually didn't hurt my ears to shoot indoors. So was... Yeah, we didn't have to use hearing protection indoors. I think this is a fairly quiet air rifle, indoors or outdoors. And I have to say, I think Tom Gaylord and Pyramid Air have a real winner on their hands. I, agree. I like the Air Venturi Bronco. I definitely like it. And that. it's not only for younger people. I think we're going to find the older folks around here shooting this air gun a whole lot. Well, I'd like to thank my very special guest, Crystal Ackley, for joining us on Air Gun Reporter today. And until next time... Shoot safe and have fun. Please remember, folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious injury if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at a person. Parents, if you teach your kids to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment. My name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun.